Hi, and welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa. I am The Crafty Author, and welcome to my quilting room. Today, we are going to be doing an embroidery project. I put a poll out a couple of, well, probably a couple months ago, on um, what you would like to see me work on next. And I'm going to teach you how to embroider the Cubby Buddies tummy right here. So this will be my first time doing it on a multi-needle machine. I've done it on my single needle machine. I had a video that I posted showing how I did this. It's on my Instagram stories. So if you want to see that, head on over to Instagram at The Crafty Author. But for today, we're going to go ahead and use the Racoma EM1010. Okay, so these are really fun to work with because you can unzip them on their bottoms here. You just unzip and then you pull the stuffing out so you'll have something that looks like this and then it makes it easy to embroider on the inside on your buddy's tummy so you can also remove the top of his head like that so i am going to use a tearaway stabilizer Okay, so I wanna show you what I've done. This is not the easiest thing in the world to do. So if you're trying to hoop this and you're having a hard time, just keep going with it, cause it will work. So I'm going to take my hoop and I'm going to lay it this way. So this, the tightening screw should face you. For demonstration purposes, I'm gonna have it face you. <laughs> and I'm going to put this inside of my bunny like that okay I'm just gonna put it in here like so like that so you should have something that resembles this okay and then I am going to take my top piece and I'm going to press it down like so okay and I know that I see the bunny's little tail right here so when I put my hand through there there shouldn't be a tail sticking through I do need to tighten my screw underneath here so I'm going to go ahead and tighten that up actually it's pretty tight just make sure that everything is nice and taut so that when we take it over to the embroidery machine we're not going to have any issues at all okay i'm going to remove this little tail here all right so i'm going to put my stabilizer in underneath now now i'm working with a four by four hoop i don't know if i mentioned that earlier I'm gonna give this a little bit of some adhesive spray. I'm using some 505, I'm just gonna spray that. And then I am going to put that inside of here and just stick it in that. And I'm not too worried about this because it isn't gonna really matter with the spray on it, but I do wanna make sure that I do have stabilizer. Okay, I think our rabbit is just about ready to go over to the embroidery machine. Just gotta finish getting everything in here the way I want it. Okay, so next thing we'll do is we'll go over to the machine. We're gonna put this on there. Sorry, we're gonna put this on there. I have made sure that it's not gonna sew anything together under here, underneath. Um, so I have the little tail pulled up. I am going to put down my water soluble stabilizer here on top. This will just help the lettering to go on smoother. Make sure that's not all folded up under there. And I think we are now good to go.
Okay, we are done embroidering on our Cubby Buddy's belly. Now we're gonna just go ahead and pull that off, the hoop off. We're gonna pull our hoop out and we're gonna tear away all this stabilizer. Now this stabilizer can stay in here because um, nobody's ever gonna see it unless they go tearing through this, but you could clean up the threads and stuff. If you were gonna give this as a gift, I might do that, but this is gonna stay here with me, so I'm not going to do that. And it's just gonna stay looking like that. So, and I'm gonna take off my water-soluble stabilizer, and it's okay if you don't get it all. Um, you can just wet it, and it'll, it'll come off. But, now we're gonna put his head back in, or her head, because she's pink, I guess. And so I'm just gonna push that up in there. And then we're gonna put the belly in. And Ta-da! So, this is our our cubby buddy. Now, I could have made the design a little bit bigger, um, but I actually like this. I think it's pretty doggone adorable. Ooh, get some more of that. I think I have just about all of that off there now, so we should be good to go that way. All right, so this is what we have. Clever, right? <laughs> says the crafty author on the belly. Um, so this is how you embroider a cubby buddy. Um, like I said, it can be a little bit tedious to hoop it, but once you get it, you get it and it's fairly simple and you can just kind of go from there. They do sell hooping systems that will help you to um, hoop these. I don't have one. Um, so uh, there's that. I also am an affiliate for Dime, which are the magnetic hoops um, that you can use with your home sewing machine. So I'll link those down in the description box if you're interested in purchasing magnetic hoops to make your life easier and on your hands. Um, Racoma is still running their November Black Friday sale. So if you're interested in picking up one of these awesome um, 10 needle machines, Highly recommend it. They'll make your life easier as well. So those links are also down below in the description box. If you contact them, they will help you um, with any financing questions or anything like that that you might have. This is it for me today. If you'd like to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you would like to share it, that's terrific because sharing is caring. And don't forget to click that little bell. You'll get notified each and every time I upload an awesomely cool new video. And keep on crafting. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.